the distance has definitely widened. A couple of teams have set themselves up as pacemakers for the pack. They obviously don't have anybody in the breakaway group. He's given up. The peloton seems to want to wind the breakaway back in. Now they're riding, and the gap is melting away. They're moving along at a fair lick. You've just got to hang on. This climb features some dreadful percentages. The group is slowly thinning out due to such a frantic pace. The Entente in the escape group is far from cordial. There are a couple of riders who want to go it alone. The pack's deficit is being cut back. Some team managers mustn't appreciate the fact that there is a breakaway, given that the pack has increased its speed. Philippe Gilbert goes into the attack. A rider has a flat tire. Let's hope he has helped out quickly. The front group is disorganized and some riders are exploiting this opportunity to attack. Acceleration by Valverde.
The pack is increasing its work rate. Some teams can't be happy with the breakaway. Garens has fallen. One of the motorcyclists says that a rider is down. Apparently, he didn't interfere with the race. The pack is slowly whittling away the lead. They really are moving. The pack can't get strung out too far or it's going to start breaking up. The little promenade is over. The group has been overhauled. The peloton has slowed down a bit. There are just 15 kilometers left. Valverde goes into the attack. The riders are entering the last 10 kilometers of the stage. There are just five kilometers left. Holy cow, that was a fall! And the final sprint is off. Who's going to be the first to the line today? Victory for Alejandro Varverde.